gyroscopes. What keeps them balanced when they are spinning? Is it magic? Or alchemy? Or this is Inception and we are all in a dream? Nah, it's physics. This is Intexa! To really understand how the gyroscope works, we must first understand the concept of momentum. But what is momentum? Well, momentum is the tendency that a body has to keep going at the same velocity. For example, if I throw this ball in the air, it goes up. Because I apply the force to it, it will accelerate to a certain velocity, and because of momentum, it will keep going at that velocity. Not really. Because we have gravity, the ball will decelerate and eventually come down. Now, let's look at angular momentum. Let's observe this pendulum for a moment. Now, let's imagine an hypothetical situation in which we pull the pendulum up and we let it go. Let it go, let it go. Gravity creates a moment of force that accelerates the pendulum in the clockwise direction. Now, imagine that in this exact moment we teleport the pendulum to other position. Even though it's now being accelerated in the counterclockwise direction by gravity, because the pendulum has angular momentum in clockwise direction from the previous acceleration, it will keep spinning in that direction. Even though its velocity will decrease for some time because of gravity, it will spin in the clockwise direction. Now that you understand a little bit more about momentum, let's see what role momentum plays in the magic balancing of the gyroscope. So, here we have a simplificated gyroscope. Let's focus on the yellow part of the gyroscope's mass and see what happens when it's not spinning. So, if we tilt it to the right, it gets off balance and gravity creates a moment of force that accelerates it in the clockwise direction. Nothing new. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! I'll be back! So, why does this thing make a Michael Jackson move when it's spinning? Well, let's observe what happens when it's spinning. Once more, we tilt it to the right and gravity blah blah blah. You get it. But because it's spinning a fraction of a second later, the yellow portion is in the other side. And because it has angular momentum from the acceleration of moments ago, it compensates the falling motion. And this happens for every bit of mass during all rotation. This is it! If you didn't learn anything from this video, please, I'm sorry. So, Enjoy this animation of Internet Explorer being shot. But, if you did learn something from this video, 